Hello guys, I'm me, Karsat, it's ZenCap, Karan95, and welcome to another edition of F1 2017 Career Mode. So, here I am in the last lap of the Zuka circuit for the Japanese Grand Prix, and as you can see, in the, I'm, I don't have points, which means I have to be in the top 10 to get one or two points, depending if I get the ninth or not, but... You'll see right in here, right now, that I just had a bad start of the race and just running around in midfield and just, yeah. Like in NASCAR, you're always in a pack all the time at the oval tracks, but in road courses, everything gets spread out, you know, real quick. and. You have to really actually drive in the car. So, I passed Romain Grosjean for 10th. So, yep. That means I have to get through my teammate Felipe Massa for 9th. So, so, basically, you have to use my DRS, which will kill the engine or wear the engine a little bit. Yeah. But still, I know what happens when you just. Oh boy. You just have to to get a toe from my teammate and see if I can pass him. Yep, I'm gonna pass him easily and I will. For nine Ugh. Unless I can get to... Oh, man. Really? Am I going to get eighth? <laughs> if you saw the instant replay slash flashback, whatever, don't be concerned because I'm, like, new to F1 a little bit. Well, I've watched F1, like... I first went to F1 in 2000, but I really wasn't into it because I didn't know what kind of technology they had compared to the NASCAR. But, so yeah, looks like I'm gonna get an age, so go ahead and watch the rest of the video. So, I make you have a kind life up. Go have a great day. Peace out. and Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimize each stint and get the most out of the tires. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. Um, but credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. Here come our winning drivers then, out onto the podium at the end of a thrilling Grand Prix. The drama and excitement are over, and it's time to let it all sink in. Congratulations to our top three today. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the driver's championship after an excellent result. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I think I'm going to award it to the Williams driver. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. On to the constructors then. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Meanwhile, good work from Force India this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order.
Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day, and peace out.